A non-invasive surgical technique using ultrasound promises to be a better way to destroy prostate tumors. We built a preclinical uh, transrectal BH device uh, for prostate ablation and performed initial uh, feasibility studies. Prostate cancer is the most common malignancy among Western men. Over 180,000 new cases are diagnosed every year in the United States. FDA approval of uh, thermal HIFU about five years ago now, uh, there's been dramatic uptake clinically in using the technology for treatment of patients with the goal of minimizing side effects of prostate cancer treatments while uh, delivering the same uh, treatment benefits of uh, more traditional approaches. The team has developed alternative methods using high-intensity focused ultrasound, HIFU, that may improve non-invasive focal treatment of the prostate. Researchers at APLUW Center for Industrial and Medical Ultrasound well, and UW School of Medicine have teamed with ultrasound experts in Russia to improve the technology. Moscow State University Group is renowned for its expertise in nonlinear wave phenomena, designing therapeutic transducers for HIFU, and nonlinear modeling. Additionally, the University of Washington is well known for our ability to design and construct uh, HIFU devices. Uh, conduct translational experiments and evaluating uh, the bioeffects induced by high food. And working together made us as one group and resulted in successful development of the preclinical device and feasibility studies. Our team is developing a technology. Uh, we termed it uh, boiling histotripsy or BH technology and the aim is to mechanically liquefy tissue rather than thermally ablate it at the focus. And this technology combines two uh, nonlinear physical phenomena. It's nonlinear wave propagation and interaction of ultrasound waves with bubbles. We use uh, millisecond long pulses with very high amplitude that are focused and while propagating from the transducer to the focus, initially harmonic waves uh, transform to the shock wave at the focus. And these shock waves, they heat tissue into very high temperatures within each pulse, then a vapor bubble uh, forms, and interaction of uh, shock waves uh, with this bubble results in tissue disintegration to subcellular debris uh, through the mechanism of atomization and acoustic fountain. Mechanical tissue ablation with HIFU, that is, liquefying the tissue, offers several advantages over thermal HIFU approaches. There is little heat diffusion to surrounding tissues. The treated volume is very sharply defined, and treatment targeting and efficacy can be monitored in real time. Because it relies on thermal mechanisms, the overall rate of heating is relatively slow compared to our technologies, and so that allows for potentially a thermal diffusion of heat, which could increase the risk of side effects. One of the big benefits of BH uh, is the ability to monitor in real time on um, playing B-mode ultrasound. Um, in particular, during the initiation of the treatment, uh, the activation of the, the bubble activity at the focus uh, is very reflective and results in the production of a hyperechoic bubble that you can see right at the focus, providing feedback on where you're targeting. Um, and then as time goes on and you effectively treat the intended target uh, and you homogenize the tissue, uh, you lose the tissue scatters in the tissue, uh, and that produces uh, a dark hypoechoic cavity, indicating success of treatment. So we believe that uh, BH has a great future, and one of the applications that are most close to clinical implementations is focal therapy of cancer in prostate. In the future, we plan to build a clinical prototype device in which we would characterize that and its ability to effectively treat the prostate uh, using both ex vivo and in vivo experiments with the ultimate goal of performing our first in human experiments and trials in the next few years. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.